Okay, I'm gonna do a little a, a little a tribute here tonight. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware. Um, do you remember uh, Mike Evans, who used to come here and do the open mic themed open mics almost every time? And he he was a masterful storyteller. He would tell stories, Robert Service poems, or did various stories and stuff. And uh, he came last month to the love songs. We did love songs last month, and um, he did the shooting of Dangerous Dan McGrew the poem by Robert Service, and he had a friend on the piano, and he had Avram over here dressed as the gambler, Dangerous Dan McGrew, and he had the woman dressed up as Lil, and he read the poem, and they even pulled out cap guns and had a little shoot. I just so wish I had videoed it, because sadly, Mike passed away, like, a, a few, a, a, within 10 days of that, he, um, he uh, died suddenly of a heart attack, and um, he was a terrific, terrific guy and a major supporter of this open mic. And I just thought I would just read you uh, his ob obituary. It's, it's really quite amazing. I might gloss over some little minor details here, but and it's a little bit dark up here, so I will really try to do this. But get a load of this guy's life, man. I had no idea. Okay. Man, I wish I had a little bit of light. Um, does anybody have a phone that lights up and has a flashlight function? Ah, oh, great. There we go. At last, these things come in handy for the first time in my life. Okay. Mike Evans passed away suddenly of a heart attack February 19th. He was born December 3rd, 1946 to Roy L. and Inez C. Evans of Marfa, Texas. Marfa, Texas. In March of 48, the family left Fort Davis, Texas, traveling to Alaska in a converted World War II ambulance, pulling a 32-foot trailer over the recently opened Alcan Highway. Mike grew up in Alaska, Anchorage, where his father was a part-time bush pilot and big game guy. His mother was a school teacher. The family's main diet was wild game and fish, and Mike killed his first moose at the age of eight. He attended elementary and high schools in, F in Anchorage, where he began a lifelong involvement in amateur theater and music, graduating in 1965. Before beginning college studies at the University of Alaska in Fairbanks, he received an undergraduate degree in journalism from the University of Washington in 69. He was commissioned as a second lieutenant upon graduation and served three years in Panama. He later served at Fort Richardson near Anchorage. Mike married Carolyn Mickey I can't pronounce that, in 1971, and they made their home in Anchorage until 1985. He returned to the University of Washington to take a master's degree in journalism in 74. In Anchorage, he handled public relations for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and later for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, where he helped write wilderness management policies for the enormous new Alaskan wildlife refuges established by President Carter. In 1985, he and Mickey set sail from Seward, Alaska in their 37-foot sailboat, Gularn. They spent four years cruising in the South Pacific before moving ashore for eight years in Port Vila, Vanuatu, and spending another year in Hong Kong. Mickey worked as a chartered accountant, CPA, while Mike taught English at the University of the South Pacific. In, the American, Samoa, in American Samoa and Vanuatu, Mike performed in several plays, including 84, Charing Cross Road, Scrooge, Phantom of the Opera, and Jesus Christ Superstar. They returned to the United States in 1998, living briefly in Idaho Falls, Idaho, where he appeared in Little Shop of Horrors, Shaw's Arms, and The Man, and before settling permanently in Eagle Point, Oregon. In Southern Oregon, Mike was an active member of the Rogue Valley Search and Rescue Organization with his dogs, Ribbon, or Raven, and Lily. Mike joined amateur theater groups in Ashland, Oregon, and in talent, performing in several shows, including Camelot, Annie, Brighton Beach Memoirs, and 1776. 1776. He was also joined and sang several local barbershop groups and choirs, including the Rogue Valley Peace Choir, the Rogue Valley Har Harmonizers. He was active in the Rogue Valley Unitarian Universalist Congregation Worship Committee in recent years. Mike performed as a storyteller at the Northwest Folklife Festival in Seattle, and I might add, here at the Open Mic and at various venues in Ashland. Mike is survived by his beloved wife, Mickey of Eagle Point, his golden retriever, Search Dog Lily, and his brother, Roy, of Olympia, Washington. A memorial service will be held at 1 o'clock Saturday, April 2nd, at the Unitarian Universalist Church, 84 4th Street, Oregon. Uh, Ashland, Oregon. So let's lift a glass to Mike. What a hell of a life. I believe he spent his last day on a search and rescue for that guy in Grant's Pass who had Alzheimer's who was lost and uh, was later found, but like he would spend his day on a search. So helping other people out right to the end. So let's drink a glass to Mike. Wish you were here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>